Hey guys, Axel Fireflurry here. I'm here to bring you sort of a weird YouTube video. Okay, all my videos are weird, besides the point. But I feel like this is a very important topic, especially for the Pokemon community. Um, we've been seeing a lot of weird stuff going on in the past couple of years with PokeTubers, the Pokemon games, the Pokemon anime, fan theories, let's plays. Pokemon's kind of gotten pretty crazy over the past 20 years now and I feel like this is a topic or maybe not even a topic but something that should be brought up because I feel like it's not talked about enough and it's about the grand spectrum of the Pokemon world I mean think about it we have like 10 different Okay, not even 10, maybe like 15, 20 different main series games. We have a whole bunch of side games. We have the trading card game. We have the anime. We have the mangas. We have... We just have so much here in the Pokemon world. And just like anything in the Pokemon world, we're going to run into, well, different people. We're going to run into people who play differently. We're going to run into people who have different opinions on things. We're gonna just run into different. And I feel like a lot of people, myself included, have been focusing on the negative of the Pokemon community for the past few years. And I kind of feel like it's sort of like my chance to sort of put a positive spin on things. And we hear a whole bunch of drama videos about this person attacking this person or whatever the case may be so just so you guys know this is my personal opinion and before we really get into the video i want to cover a few definitions opinions you don't necessarily need facts yes facts make your opinion more validated or more concerning but you really don't need them also this is a subjective video and subjective means you're not putting your emotions into the discussion or your emotions aren't dictating why you think this way as opposed to an objective opinion where you're definitely emotional about all that hoo-ha. The reason I bring that up is because a lot of people mix those two up and I feel like somebody really needs to teach some people English. So. For some of the cool people we have in the Pokemon community, we actually have the world champion, Wolfie Glick. One of the reasons I like him and his positivity is he had some backlash, he said his piece, and he just continues what he's doing and showing people how to get into the competitive scene. And it's appreciated. We have Cybertron Zang. Um, he's a really good Pokemon player. His main channel content is VGC for people who are, you know, getting into VGC and want to improve. That's definitely appreciated for people who want to learn VGC. We have PokeAimMD who uses Pokemon Showdown for people who want to play on singles or want to play in a format where you can have random shinies or bring just about any Pokemon you want in any tier you want to have them be valuable. We have the Jaywits who plays the Pokemon trading card game and who's playing Pokemon Let's Plays, who kind of focuses on the casual aspect of the Pokemon world, but still manages to bring awesome content for us Pokemon players. And we have Shofu, who brings Pokemon singles and Let's Plays. Yeah, he did. It's totally competitive, but you're going to run into people like that, and it's respectable because he does a respectable manner. But we want to talk about this lady right here. I'm going to try to remember her name. It's Verlata Comics. She does the comics of the Pokemon world. Maybe not the only comics player, make, content maker for the Pokemon world, but she's definitely respectable because she covers some of the iffy aspects that people talk about in the Pokemon community. She keeps them relevant, and she makes them really funny. Her artwork is hilarious, and I feel like she deserves like her own positive shout-out in her own video. So we're going to be talking about a few of her just a few of her comics to show how to be a decent Pokemon player. And here is just a quick disclaimer that, yeah, the Pokemon fandom is going to be really big, and you're going to run into people that you just, you're not going to agree with, and it's okay to disagree with them. Just be sure to do it in, you know, a respectable manner, because if you're disrespectful, you're not going to get any respect back, and you have really no room to complain and whine 
if anyone's disrespecting you because you're being a dick to them. So, that's pretty much it. If you need to pause and read the comics, go ahead and do it. But, here's pretty much kind of what I did in my tinfoil hat video uh, with this comic, which is pretty much what you should and should not do if you have somebody who has various opinions on you, whether they poke a power save, uh, or just play a different format than you. Just kind of be respectful, and just the do's and don'ts. Um... This is sort of kind of like the previous comic where just kind of a do's and don'ts. I love the absolute last comic where it's like, don't be a dick. And guys, no one in these series, unless it's like somebody who definitely looks like somebody you'd find in the Pokemon games, they're not based on anyone in real life. She has mentioned this before, so guys, kind of drop it. And like she says before, don't be a dick. So this next comic is just kind of the facts and... Just about the facts about power saves, about what they really do for the Pokemon community, where they don't necessarily destroy anything for anyone besides the single player, and the player who's using it is totally fine with how they're using it. So, there's kind of that. And here's a reason why people power save. I like it. Because people have lives, and if you find a way to have a really busy life and still breed Pokemon, she says that's okay. If you're lazy, it's totally fine. I'm actually kind of in the middle between being really lazy and being really busy, so I power save. And she even does just fun little casual ones. I love this comic because I'm actually trying to find various balls to catch some Pokemon to start breeding and stuff like that. And this is so true. I kind of wish they had all the balls in one place. But yeah, she just... She doesn't do just Pokemon, she does her own little comic series. But guys, definitely go check her out. This comic, it speaks to me on levels, because I would definitely do everything and anything for Lily and Debbie. I love those two, I wish she didn't leave me for Kanto. But guys, go check her out, she's an amazing content creator, follow her, do whatever, and I hope you guys have an amazing day. See you next time.